Barn Boogle was legitimately like the closest thing that I've seen to like a Jurassic Park golf course. Oh my God. This is one of the coolest, most beautiful pieces of land that I'll ever be on in my life. It hits you and your breath is literally taken away. It looks like we were on the set of a movie, like low fog, crazy mountains, the greenest green you've ever seen, and just ocean. And then we caught it on two of the most spectacular days and sunsets that you could ever catch it on. The devil keeps his pets in Tasmania. I'm not going anywhere where the devil's pets are. What? Oh my God, look! Dude, fuck that! Are you fucking kidding me? That's a, an agent of death. The more you do something, you should be better at it. <laughs> I even took a fucking divot. That felt like a real golf shot. But for whatever reason, the more we do it, I'm about to drop a fucking dart on the screen. The more we lose it. <laughs> my putting is so bad. Hit it! Oh my word, you're a bad golfer. The speed can be almost pathetic. What? He misses that, we're gonna win this battle. Come on! Whew. Deep breath, easy game. You in the cup. But we decided to, I think it was Monday night, we arrived and we were in Melbourne and Tiger and Xander and the whole team were hitting shots down by the river there onto this little island green. And they let us do it afterwards in front of a bunch of people. And we were like, this has to count as a point. And I remember being, me being like, no, that's like kind of too much. But at the same token, the Roo Cup was kind of all over the place too, in terms of like, where it stood and like how points got allocated. This is a tripping competition. We all know who's the favorite. I know you're my teammate. It's hilarious that you're going to grab a glove. I mean, come on. Let's just talk about come him on. going to grab a glove. Yeah. Look, it's right. simple. If this wedge goes in the water, it's a catastrophe. Someone offered us a glove. I said no. Frankie said no. Lurch said no. And Riggs said yes. Riggs. Riggs, Riggs, Riggs from? From, uh, from the United States, States of America. 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 You know what it is? Got this All the way at the back, lopsided knee. Sit. 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 See ya. See ya. All right. All right. How do we want to do it? Not bad. Not bad. They announced us. There was like a crowd. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, that legs. Oh, that's going to be short. Right up the front, long side of the knee. I got to tell you, my hands are sweaty. So that's going to be a. No, no. No, no, no. I'd rather have a wedge in the water than be We're here to win. Long side of the we might be preparing to pick up a party in a minute. Win. Go! Can't be good. Go! Get out! Go a little. That's the boy. That's the boy. Go a little. Go! Oh! All three of the My hands were sweating. I thought I was going to hit the, or throw the club into the water. Lurch. Lurch. Oh, <laughs> oh my oh, God, hit a house. That's in the Aquarius. Stop it. Sun's out, comes out, big boy. Turn. Oh, Ashley. Oh. Is that a point, Ash? Is that a one? Oh, 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 oh. Go. Go. Uh, well done, that was a short one, Ash, so we'll make a, uh, Frankie. I'll get a good feeling about you, Frank. You like that? Wow. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All right, someone get some time off for that ball, please. The lane's good. Yeah. Down, way down. Yeah. Hit the screen, hit the screen. Oh, oh. Get off. is that a point, Ash? Yes. It's a one point out. Alright, Frankie. Alright, anything on the blue! Anything on the blue! Oh my god. Three to two. He's cured. He's cured. That's it! That's it! We win! Frank the lefty! We win! In retrospect, having the floating green be worth a full point was a mistake. Because I think we were actually looking good, and then Frankie hit this miracle shot off a of mat. Duh. And then we just lost a point. So now we're down 
And if we lose, what if we lose the, at Barn Boogle, we just lose. Yeah, we're, we're, our backs are up against the wall going to Barn Boogle. Going to Tasmania, I remember, I mean, it was a short flight but that we were going to this beautiful place that's exotic, that's different. We're in Tasmania, we're on this island south of Australia, and my family is just on a different planet back in New York. We were there for the President's Cup. We happened to be able to play some golf around the President's Cup, so we had an extra day or two to go to this fucking fairy tale land in fucking Tasmania in the middle of the ocean. Yeah, we were in a bus on our way to the golf course, which is about an hour drive, and we had nothing to do. And we had gotten the video with Tiger the day before. We had fist bump him at the President's Cup, and we were obviously excited. We put out the video, and Old Man Golf started to freak out, being like, we're giving media credentials to guys who do this, and they're freaking out. And so we now have a free hour, because the whole trip was packed for the most part. We just, we had no time to do anything but golf. And we had an hour before we were gonna get to the golf course. So we all just sat in silence, probably for 45 minutes, and just went to war on Twitter. It was really, really fun because we were right. We had been in Australia enough at this point that folks were asking, you know, where are you going? Where are you guys going to play? We had been telling them Barn Boogle and they had been responding, holy shit, you're going to love it. This is Tasmania. This is Barn Boogle. As as we didn't get like, attacked by a python right when we got off. Right. <laughs> That's crazy. That's this, is this, is where the, neck. this is where the devil keeps its pets. That's right. So I've suggested to you terracotta tea boxes, terracotta arrows, 20 holes, all operational, all open for play, blind tee shot on five. You've got to hit over June to get to this fairway. When shaped like an arrowhead for the black tee box, the one on the top left hand corner is your line for terracotta on five. Okay. The other one is down on 11. In behind the green are two rows of poplar trees. Center of the gap. Good line off the tee box. Out there in this area here, you'll probably see Mr. Core doing a par three course. Okay. Okay. So, when your boys are ready, you can get out there. Awesome. Farm Boogle was legitimately like the closest thing that I've seen to like a Jurassic Park golf course. It was crazy town. Oh my God. This is one of the coolest, most beautiful pieces of land that I'll ever be on in my life. I was shocked at the pure beauty of the land. Like simplicity is power. Like it is beauty. In some cases, it feels like they just stuck a flagpole there and you're just playing golf. The war with Old Man Golf Media got the juices flowing a little bit. Um, my irons feel great, or they felt great at the dunes. I feel really good about today's round, quite honestly. I feel alive. I feel good. I feel real strong. Frank and I, 3-2 lead in the match overall. I'm a little tight, always. Long travel. But I'm very excited to play a course named The Lost Farm. No range to hit upon, uh, Bill Core of Core Crenshaw Architecture is apparently building the par three course in and around the range and the guy in the pro shop made it very clear that he, the guy in the pro shop, doesn't want us anywhere near Bill Core. I'm feeling pretty good pre-round right now. I mean, as good as you can feel. We're not gonna take any practice swings. Um, I'm just trying to work, uh, work on my wedge game here. We're down three to two in the, the Rue Cup. Uh, tomorrow's worth double points. So essentially, if we if we win today, winner take all tomorrow. If we lose today, we have a chance to have it up tomorrow. Uh, so today's a huge round, huge, huge round. The name Lost Farm dates back to the farming history of the site. Grazing and stock animals were known to take shelter from the storms on the flat-ish section of the property between the dunes. The first hole stretches out 495 yards into the Lost Farm Although the fairway is 100 yards wide, golfers should play as close as possible to the numerous bunkers in order to set up the best line of play. Game time at the Lost Farm. You guys are leading, you got the honor. That's right. Okay, two off the first tee, no range. Mm. Wow, perfect. I mean, what did you just do? <laughs> Woo! The guy who was just stretching and now he's twinkle toes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he'll be, he'll be stretching on the 15th. <laughs> Thank you.
I guess you could have kind of declared range if you wanted to hit like five here. I declare range on that first shot. <laughs> no, now you have one real ball left, but I think I think you could ask the other group to declare range and you get and drop five balls and get a feel. It's sticking my chest and you see my boobies. Bang soft. Great one. And you can see in the video that there's no one else on the planet on Lost Farm. There might be one other tea time that day, maybe two if it's packed. I'm gonna hit one range ball. I'm hitting one range ball. I'm hitting one range ball. I don't think I, I don't have a ball. I don't have a ball to spare. So. Oh, you know what I forgot? Well, I got my tiger ball today in my back pocket. It's in my backpack. Hit one range ball. Too. The range wasn't open because they were doing work. Like they were doing restorations on the golf course. So like they were, they had all these excavators and stuff like by the range, and like we just couldn't hit on the range. Oh, what happens when they don't open up the range for us? I need to get some swings in. I'm the worst when it comes to that shit. Need to get some swings in. Off we go. I'm so scared of everything. Like if I hit a ball, I can't even go. Look. If I hit a ball into the shit, I can't even go look for it. This is a death trap. This is land and this is hell. What the fuck did I just do? If you're taking a crack at this green in two, you really need to play up the left hand side as close as possible to the bunkering. This will give you an option to fade your second onto the green. If you're gonna have a go in three, the ideal line of play is down the left for your second shot, straightening up the line of play along the green for your third. Woo, see that speed? You're sneaky fast, actually. Sneaky fast is right. Good, Frank. Thank you. At a par? Bogey. Bogey? Yeah, is that good? Yep. Sit. Hit it. Hit it. Oh my word, you're a bad golfer. <laughs> that was for Bird? Yeah. That was brutal. What are you doing? Go. Oh. Oh. Alright, so you're in six five? Six, six five. Six five. Come on! Come on, Benny. Woo! No blood. Huge. All right. All right. Golfers should not mistake the 335 yard second hole for being flat and simple. It's quite brilliant in its strategy, and its pin location determines the line of play off the tee. The two fairway bunkers set up three perfect playing corridors that relate to certain pins on the green. You should play left of the left bunker for a left pin or a far right pin. You should play down the middle for a middle pin or a right pin, and you should only play down the right for a center pin. Being out of position here can make your approach very tricky. What the fuck is this now? <laughs> this is the lost one. Ah, you're sick. 
<laughs> right at that bunker. Miss it. The green is perhaps one of the finest on the property with a bold spine dividing the left and centre portions and a bunker protecting the far right. Run that back one more time. That's one of my nicest swings of all time. They even took a, they even took a divot out of there. He's like probably, I would probably say 15 feet. I even took a fucking divot. That felt like a real golf shot. That might be the first real golf shot I feel like I've hit all trip. Well done, Trent Daddy. Oh, that's tug. That is tug. Putt from a fairway bunker, that's, that my friends is a Tasmanian miracle, that's what you call that. Oh no, skip out, over, gone. That thing flies when you hit a hybrid. First time for everything, I've never hit that shot before in my life. I couldn't believe how much jump it got off the face by just a little swing. Gonzo, see ya. It really goes off. That's impressive. Holy fuck. That's tight. That fucker is tiggity tight. <laughs> Tell me when I make contact, it doesn't just shoot right into this stuff. No, 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 open her way up. You're fine. You'll pop out of that. Yeah, like just that. like that. Open her up. Yeah, just like that. Take a practice swing just like that. Yes, dude. Lurch is a pretty good partner when it comes to that stuff. He makes you like do things that you're uncomfortable with and, and talks you through them. So in that sense, he's a good partner. Other times it's like, all right, like, tell me to open it up one more fucking time. Like, as if you know what the fuck you're talking about. We all don't know what the hell we're doing yes. right here. Big kick, big kick, go. Oh, it's in the down. It's seven down. Yes, sir! Wow. Yes, sir! <laughs> Holy Woo! shit! Oh. A little Good pressure, time. not a shot, a little pressure. And God bless Trent's heart that he, on this trip, was such a lethal and fearless competitor and teammate. He stepped up countless times. And that's the thing, and that's why Riggs sometimes likes to play with me, because my handicap is terrible. I'm awful. But then I'll hit a couple miracle shots like that and I'll win a whole four net three. Thanks. And I'm like the best partner you can ask for. I just gotta be able to keep up that level of play. One up. Yup. T rent. What a hole, man. Measuring just 255 yards, the par four third is very much drivable for the medium to long hitters. Those going for the green must deal with the large fairway undulations resembling a herd of buried elephants and then slot their drive between the approach bunker and the native vegetation to the right. Ample room is provided to the left where one can lay up and simply approach the green with a wedge. Yeah, I made a par. Yeah. Dickhead had six feet from Don't call him that. Don't call him that. I'm okay with that. That's literally the nicest line I can say. Maybe this is incorrect, but I think I'm the biggest fan of Trent's game and the value that he has. Oh. One with the snakes now, boy. Yeah, brother. That's a grundle eating type of fucking bench. Just sit there with your legs open, just comes right underneath. Good one. Yes, Trent. Good ball, Trent. He can string together a bunch of good golf shots and then you look around and he's a little like sometimes shorter off the tee. And if you don't pay attention to him, he's gonna steamroll it. Ooh. Yeah, I think we're all waiting for Trent to just like put it together one of these days. So like every time he steps up to the, up to the first tee, is it that day that he's gonna break free? That's like a pretty cool thing about playing with Trent, is every day could be his like career low. Trent, daddy. Bro, what are you doing in there? Quite yeah. out. You're gonna die. You're a hero, nice, everyone. Let's all like make a statue for Lurch. He's standing in the pesky. You're gonna get fucking eat. 
problem is you make back-to-back -back pars, you want to find that thing to start. <laughs> Poisoned by the golf gods themselves. Oh, no. Shit. Damn it. Get up, get up, girl. Get up. Oh, yikes. It's good to you, Daddy. The 6'5, six, 6'5. Five, six, five. What's this for? For a five? Yeah. Nice. 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 Yes, sir. Wow, oh, great oh, part, Frankie. Yeah. He evens it up. Great one, great one. Thanks guys. They did, I think, tell us that once you get to the fourth tee, you'll be blown away. I think the fourth hole at Lost Farm was probably the best reveal I've ever experienced in all of golf. You just walk up a little like sandy path through a dune and boom. Holy yeah. heck. What? Look at this. Holy Whoa. shit. Dude, I got the <laughs> wow. What in the world? Where are we? Where are we? Look at this! Dude. What a golf hole! Oh my god. I actually can't believe we're standing right here. This hole just smacks you in the face out of nowhere in the best way possible. Feel free to just take a minute and enjoy the fourth hole at Lost Farm. Perhaps one of the most beautiful par threes in all of Australia. At just 125 yards, this hole plays along the primary dune that separates Bass Strait from Tasmania. With the Forrester River and Bamboogle Dunes in the background, it really is a sight to behold. Totally exposed to the elements, even though it's short, a well-struck shot must be played to reach this green safely. Dude, I have the chills right now. And Same. we've played like Pebble Beach, Spyglass, NPCC, we've been on the water before. That's as Tasmania as it gets right there. You know that you're on this little island off of uh, Australia and you just don't know what that means until you go to the fourth hole at Barnboogle. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Keep left. You remember where you are. When you're on those first three holes, you could, you're definitely in a different part of the world, but you could kind of be anywhere. When you see that water, you're in Tasmania. Facts. Snakes, I'm in the water. Could be in the snake. In the ocean. Yeah, there's sea snakes, man. Snakes sea could snakes. be in the ocean. Sea snakes are scary. That fourth hole, that just brought back some feels right there. I just got like, woo, that place is great. Gotta go. It's gonna be perfect. That's pretty good. It looks really good. Oh yeah, it took the slope down. Oh, it's whack. Oh my god. Oh my god. Very, very <laughs> oh, interesting, no. interesting spot to be in over there. That's why the devil keeps his pets in line. They kept telling us, the, devil's, the devil keeps his pets in Tasmania. I'm not going anywhere where the devil's pets are. That's the scariest thing I've ever heard. You gotta be careful what you ask for. Because we go to Australia and everyone's saying, there's gonna be all these crazy animals, snakes, kangaroos, and then we were there for a lot of the trip and we didn't see anything, which in a weird way was a letdown. This, this is something here. You know, oh, oh, that thing is I need you guys sand, to be my too. eyes. That thing is in the sand. I need where you, where, eyes, where, where is it? No, your ball. Oh. Oh my God, the snake's literally on top of the ball. The what? snake's on top of the ball. What? Oh my God, look. Dude, fuck that. My Dude, God. are you kidding me? <laughs> That's a joke. Look at this. No, I where you would stand. Dude, I'm that is, No, I'm not going. Are you kidding? No, that's a free drop. Look at that. Frank. Dude, Holy you. shit. <laughs> oh my God. You have to go hit. No, you don't. What are you, crazy? Oh my God, here it comes by your ball, dude. Oh my God. Dude, it like wants to eat me. Yeah. yeah. It's going after your golf ball. I mean, that, this is so Tasmanian. What is happening right now? I mean, is it safe for us to I'm be out here? Okay. I'm, I'm very nervous now, but I want to get a picture so I can tweet it. Oh my God. It just oh, my, it. oh my God. Go hit your ball, Trent. 
I, I don't have. Fine. You can hit the ball. Yeah, now you're good. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Is that your expert opinion on snakes in Australia? Dude, I would not. That's mania. That thing is on the backside of the tail. I see. You do? Oh, he's right there, Trent. He's like, no joke. He's five feet away from your golf. Yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? That's a that's a an agent of death. He's burrowing into that. Yeah, you're oh good. Go, go now. Go now. Go now. What? Oh, don't go anywhere near Dude, there may be another one that comes out behind you. Yeah, that's not that the can, only one. I'm getting mixed, I'm getting mixed signals. What do I do? You can't pay me to go hit that golf ball. Take a free drop where you stand right now. I don't have another yeah, ball. I would, I would right. lean and grab, grab that, that ball. Oh, this is a big moment. Grab that ball. You're good. You're Careful. good. Go now. No, no. Go now. Oh, oh this is life or death. <laughs> You guys are fucking. Oh God, way, you guys are fucking assholes. Oh my God, I can fucking see. It. I can fucking see this. What a shot! Oh, 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 God. oh my God, look at that thing, dude. Dude. I'm notoriously a bad bunker player, um, so I maybe. You get a little fear going and you forget about everything else. Yeah, that's one of my best shots of the trip. Everything looks like a snake now. Is that a snake? Sit, oh, sit. Oh, go, both go in. <laughs> Did you just help Trent? Front stopping, that was front stopping. <laughs> Trent, I dare you to make this putt. I, I, my nerves are a little all over the place. Missed it. Oh no. Oh. You cuck. Wow. We're ready to win the hole? Yep. Let's go. The par 4 fifth hole is a magnificent beast of a hole. Measuring 440 yards and playing downhill, golfers must navigate the 60 foot dune to their right as they tee off. Those playing out to the left risk catching the down slope and feeding their ball further away from the green and having a blind second shot. Those who carry the dune and find the wide fairway are left with an approach to a green tuck just to the right of centre and bench between the last dune and the embankment of the forest river. Possible to know. That's just what you're gonna get with Trent. And that's the beauty of it. He's got a big smile on his face, happy look, go lucky guy. He's an extremely fun, positive person to play with. And that's just what you're gonna get with Trent's game. It's totally fine. I think that's fun. I'm uber aware of like, or at least try to be of what he's doing. And certainly concerned about his game. Fuck you, dude. Well, I'm just like... Well, it's right here, dude. You got it? Right there. Oh. So what now? We have a question. We see the ball. We're just afraid to go in there. So isn't that what the snake drop rule is all about? We are not within range of a hospital or a doctor that can save you. So if you get bit out here, you're dead. I think you should still get to drop it in the fescue, but at least his feet are on the fair or the rough. Fine. But when you go in there, it's kind of—it's oh. for a laugh sometimes. I'm in there. Dude, I suck at golf. Out of here! I hate snakes. But in Australia, you can't do that. And in Tasmania, you definitely can't do that because you'll die. Had we not seen that in the last hole, I would have went right in there and punched it out. I'm yeah. horrified. Down right there. Down. Down. Uh -oh. Down. Trent was playing well, which is huge. This is horrifying now. Now my back's still. See, I think this is the same thing. That's the right play. Punch yep. out, keep it moving, get out of there. What, to, to go win a golf match against your buddies? I'm gonna go with fucking Tasmanian snakes wrapping around my fucking legs thinking I'm some fucking wow. thin dinner? No chance, dude. That's as good of a shot as you're gonna see Frankie Brelli make right there. I would be a much better golfer if I played nine holes at a time. Oh. A little too aggressive, I gotta be honest. That didn't deserve going. 
good, Frank. Thanks. What's that in for? Six. One time. Smart. Good. Smart, Trent. Five. We down two? Yep. Thank you. Wish I had four. The six hole is an absolute beauty of a par three. Measuring 160 yards, the hole plays downhill and across the low lying sand dunes in the center part of the property. The green is a story of two halves. The left half is wide open and accessible and features some beautiful lynx-like rolls and ripples. The right half of the green is protected by a bunker at front and the marram grass at the back. It plays almost like a half pipe and is significantly wider than it is deep. Trent's sick. I mean, like, if Trent's gonna have a breakthrough day just one time where he shoots... 96. 92, 93, and he's just gonna kick the shit out of us. Like, yeah. if he continues to make pars and bogeys, net birdies, or we don't have a shot. Trent with a five net three. Five net three. No, stop, stop. Great ball. Thanks for the pit. Thank you. Oh no, I left with the club. Slipped on me. Tell me it's open. Just on top. I was playing well. I start to think about what if today is the day that I break 100. I'm the biggest pussy in the it's world. Good. Jesus Christ. Woo! Is that a four or three? Yeah, four. Nice putt. Very nice, nice three. Thanks. Three down? Three down. Yeah, down three through six is, it should be a knockout punch. The seventh is a par four of both beautiful scale and strategy. A large tombstone-like dune of rough grass lies dead center of the fairway and dictates two lines of play. Left of the tombstone is the most straightforward line of play. Navigating fairway bunkers, it opens up the approach to the hole. Golfers are given all the room in the world to play right of the tombstone, however they will be left with a blind approach over some of the largest bunkering on the golf course. But to make this line of play just a little bit easier, Bill Corr and Ben Crenshaw have provided golfers with a big feeder slope that will kick a ball carrying these bunkers down towards the center of the green. Yeah. We're making bogeys, so like, you know what I mean? We're not playing horrible, no. but. I fucking hate this hole. I know what happens here. Yep, perfect. Well, the problem is, camera, he's laying zero now. Oh, oh God. where did it go? Oh. On top of the hill. There's like a huge hill Front. there. You, you kind of got up to the top of it. You're right just before the top of it. My tee shot should be in the middle of the fairway. Perfect. All right, Frank, come on, bub. Yep. Couple of holes here. Nope, don't come on. Get it to one at the turn. Draw, 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 draw. Yep, pipe. Great swing, Frank. But for whatever reason, there is this gigantic hump. <laughs> Shit. What am I supposed to do there? Why is this thing here? Why is this here? I remember being pissed about that. And I remember my neck shot was so bad and I was furious. I think that might have been where my round really fell apart. What am I doing? Woo, that's bad. 
Oh, there's bunkers around the world that there's a couple of them that I just, I die in. My soul leaves my body and is like, I'm staying here. It gets a piece of me. That's one of them. Now I gotta go back down there? And I was mad. Normally I don't get mad. Normally I don't care about what's going on during my round because I'm just trying to do my best. But something about a bunker like that. Like I know what to do. Just get me out. Get me out. Shave that down and let my ball land there. That's right in my landing area. I landed right there. It's like a mole on a golf course. The 575 yard eighth hole is an awesome par five. Even though it plays down the prevailing wind, it ranks as the second hardest hole on the golf course. This wide and wild fairway must be hit in order to play an aggressive second shot to the green. Those choosing to lay up their second shot, ideally play down to the left, floating with the fairway bunkers and setting up the ideal line of attack. Oh no! This is so bad! Oh no. You need a good golfer to win. Like I'm there, I'm there to supplement a good golfer. Riggs is way more consistent. Fuck. Stop. Come here, okay. Be over it. Down. Down hard. Down. Don't know. Don't know. Those going for this green in two must approach this fortress like green with caution with bunkering front and left and a steep fall off to the sand down to the right. Nothing but a well-struck shot should hold this green. Oh, I'm just done losing fucking golf balls. I kind of know that I'm gonna get that out of Frankie though, so it's okay with me. Like his consistency of self that you trust in someone is consistent because he's good, He's bad, he's careless, and like that's just gonna be part of it. So if you know that that's gonna be the case, just don't let that frustrate you as a partner, and then you're okay with it. Talk about two bad holes. That's a Tasmanian devil. Come on. It has to be, dude. Dude, I think it is. Dude, it is a Tasmanian devil. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. It's a kangaroo, what? dude. It's a wallaby. Yeah, it's a wallaby. It's a wallaby. It's a wallaby. It's not even close to a Tasmanian hey. devil. Hey. Oh, yeah, look at it. Hey, oh, buddy. Up. Hello. Imagine, you imagine a big one comes out. Wanna come up here and putt this for me? He needs it badly. That was dumb. They just, he doesn't, the dunes don't. They don't treat him well. He's, he was a lost, he was a lost Trent out at Lost, Lost Farm, Lost Farmer from Iowa out at the Lost Farm in Tasmania, and that's just gonna happen. Hey. Third one. Seven's not gonna win it. No. Are you gonna make this putt lurch or what? Yeah. Oh! Wow, wasn't that far, huh? The 320 yard par 4 ninth hole plays directly into the wind and towards the Lost Farm Resort. The fairway is wide and features a split tier. The green sits in a low between a series of dunes and is protected to the left and rear with bunkering. It's a rather elegant end to a beautiful front nine of golf.
The more you do something, you should be better at it. But for whatever reason, the more we do it, the more we lose it. Oh, yeah. Yep. Run up there, girl. I mean, disaster time. It's, it's, it's maddening is what it is. Second time's a charm no matter what. The 565 yard par 5 10th hole tempts golfers to rip their drive down the middle of a gauntlet between two huge dunes. Ideal line of play is down the right hand side and navigating the large bunker setting up a perfect angle of attack to a green tuck to the left and protected by a deep bunker front and a native mound covered in marum grass to the back. Perfect, Frank. Couldn't be better. Do you uncork that too? Yeah, I uncorked it. Yep. Put my cock right on top of yeah. the tee and just splooged all over this tee Love box. That ah. All right, the sand, the snake pit, fucking snake. Well, I'm hitting a tentative driver. I don't know where this thing's going. Oh. I just, I lost it. Oh, just jump. Boy, did I just lose my driver out of nowhere. Where do you think it is? In hell. <laughs> I don't get that. Like Riggs, that makes sense. He's playing okay. Oh, I hit this good shot. Oh, I hit this good putt. Oh, I hit this good drive. And you start building a good game and it should just continue in that direction. But for us, I'm like, oh, I'm playing so well. I can like pull, you know, take my foot off the accelerator and then you fuck it up. Trent, daddy, nobody saw that thing. Let's go. Come on, let's have a fun back. I'm trying. You know, Come I'm on, Trent. You. Go team Red. Come on, baby. Lance off. Big strike, Trent. You never think to see the actual architects while they're at the course. That might be Bill Core right there. So he was why we couldn't go to the driver. He was on the bulldozer moving around, moving and shaking. You hear Core Crenshaw so much. The, to the point now where it's almost disconnected to real people. But then they're like, oh, there's the guy who actually builds these places, and he's right now in the middle of building part of this golf course. Like, that was crazy. Corey, how are you, sir? Hey, I'm not ready. You're the other end of the podcast, right? Yeah, we're having a great time. How are you guys doing? <laughs> now, are you making the par three course over there? Yeah. We're having a good time. It's a great spot. Pretty day you got to play. Doesn't get much better. We heard there's usually wind out here. We haven't seen it. Happy yeah. Eva flies out here. Hang around, it'll reappear. <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave you Good to see you. It was weird, I remember. I remember thinking, this is weird. It's almost like serendipitous where, oh, you're doing the right thing. Now he's just going to watch the top of the room. Yeah. 
Thank you. Keeping the shit. Actually, be good. Come on back. Be good. Oh, it's good. Oh, Sorry. That's a pain in my fucking cock. Oh. Get fast, get fast! Go. Yes, sir! Wow! Great putt. Five? Yes, great putt. That's a massive putt. Man, it feels good. That is such cool footage to have, like knowing that I played golf there and hit a putt like that. That's so cool. That is awesome. Way to go, Lurch. <laughs> Start walking that thing in. <laughs> the 430 yard par 4 11th hole tees off from low-lying ground up over a deep cross bunker to a beautiful fairway bracketed with bunkering. The beautiful fairway is protected by bunkering and dense native vegetation and ribbons its way down to a green sitting seamlessly on the ground and is reminiscent of Lynx Golf in its purest form. Oh no! Skip. Get out. Unreal. God. It's so upsetting to do that shit. Just have a thousand thoughts. A thousand. So I get frustrated at myself when I have a thousand thoughts in my head and I'm just not, like in that one moment, I can't just focus on the golf ball for a second. So like the mental error frustrates me. And it's just picturesque. Like I feel like I'm in a good spot. You know, it's beautiful. Like. I just want to put a wedge in the air that kind of drifts at the pin because it's just so fun. My putting is so bad where the speed can be almost pathetic. What's that? Uh, five. Win. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Good shit. Thank you. The 515 yard par five 12th hole is the final par five on the golf course and a stunning setting for golf. The background of grazing cattle overshadowed by a large shifting sand dune resembles the history of the golf course throughout time. The golf hole is littered with a number of bunkers that must be navigated in order to reach the green in regulation. Although teeing off from relative shelter, the second half of the hole is very much exposed to the wind and will test golfers of all abilities. Alright boys, two up. This is a 466 meter par 5. Fuck my face. No, oh, no. I have no trust in that shot. Why? I don't think you I mean, you're right by the cow. Whatever the fuck that is. There. Right by the cow. I completely forgot how to play golf. Damn. That's... Awesome. 
to dive straight. Oh man, I, I roped that thing. I was like 220 into the wind, took a hybrid. I usually don't, I'm not a confident with this club going at a target. I'm nervous in here because this is a snake pit. And I know everyone probably thinks we're being little sissy boys, but it's nerve wracking. Yeah, Frankie. Thank you, everyone. I just, I really don't know how to hit consistent pace with putts. And it's so frustrating. Middle of fucking nowhere. Dude, we're on the coast of Tasmania. The only thing we've seen so far are cows and Bill Cole. Crazy part is, yes, we were in Tasmania for two days, like two actual days of my life I was there. We were there for like less than 24 hours. It's good. So out of par. Yep. Good. Pull up? Yeah. Yeah. Looks like it was just a dead pull right off the fence. How do you not make a birdie there, huh? Oh, I just kept making it? Yeah. yeah. Dude, I mean, this is fucking infuriating to watch. Like, did I make this next one too? Like, I mean, golf's an easy game when you know the read and when you know, did I make it again? Like, this is fucking crazy. Like, I'm, I'm, did I end up leaving this hole or am I still in Tasmania? Am I still in Tasmania? I know myself and I was not gonna leave there until I missed. So I was just gonna keep going. I mean, this is fucking ridiculous. Do I ever miss? Do I ever miss the fucking shot? Like. <laughs> <laughs> can you give me the birdie at this point? Like, can you just give me the birdie at this point? Oh man, bro. You know, it's just, it's just crazy, you know? You know, how do you miss? How do you miss this fucking fuck, man? you know? Oh, okay, whatever, we'll take that. The 395 yard par 4 13th hole is a stunning piece of golf architecture. The slightly angled par 4 is reminiscent of Irish Lynx and sits low between two large dune systems that run along the coast. The wide fairway is bordered by deep native marron grass on both sides and set at an angle that pinches the hole the closer you get to the green. This awkward sensation puts extra pressure on a well struck shot playing into the prevailing wind. The green is protected by a bunker on the right-hand side and sits beautifully at the slope of the dunes. Tread strokes alone here, his favorite thing to do. Crenshaw courses before? One of my biggest complaints is that a lot of them are too similar. This is unlike any core Crenshaw or any golf course I've ever seen. With all the dunes like this, this is fucking awesome. Ooh, get down. That sucked. Thank you. I get this with this high 15 feet, I'll make it. Lurch will miss for sure. Come on, draw. By 20 feet.
good lurch if you want. Very good. Thank you. That guy did not expect us. No, he didn't. Know. He may have been jerking. Look at, look at all these. On the back. Whoa. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That's pretty good. Wow. Yeah, look at there. this. Oh. Pretty That's good. pretty good. The 14th hole is an absolutely cracking short par four. Measuring 275 yards, the hole plays from up into the dunes and out towards Bass Strait to a green bench to the right into the primary dune system. Finding this narrow green off the tee requires a beautifully struck drive over the fairway bunkers to the right. Missed shots on this hole are punished. A valley of sin down and to the left, a bunker to the right, and a shot just 10 yards over the back of the green will end up on the beach. Just breathtaking in terms of the beauty of it. And then we caught it on two of the most spectacular days and sunsets that you could ever catch it on. Yes. Fuck. No, let's see where that Fuck. thing lands. Fuck. That's good, man. Oh, yeah. Yes. Hold on. Sounded great. Ah, oh, you try to do something cool. Yeah, I just don't know any world in which I can put this. Like you're going up and down and back up. It's like, I mean, I gotta fucking mash it. And I want to say at that point, now that you show that, we were oh, on a I comeback. And I was like, all right, I can just get something up to like 20 feet and have a birdie and I still have a stroke advantage. Because I always think that my Texas wedge, there's less of a delta for air. Fuck yeah, me. Trap Daddy, what do you like? He likes three. Three. He likes three net two. Mm, good bit. Good lunch, five. Yep. Good try, Trap. Good Trap Daddy. That's good. Five four. Five yep. four. You got a good bit on this, Frank? Right to left. Yep. Get in! It's good. Yeah, I just can't make putts. I have the worst short game in the world. Yeah. Oh. Four to play down through. Look at this walkway. This is insane. The 15th hole at Lost Farm is a beautiful par three. Measuring 180 yards and playing from atop the dunes looking out to Bass Strait, and towards a green settled below the Lost Farm Resort, the large green nestled amongst rumpled ground is a great piece of architecture. Play finding the right side of these undulations will kick a ball onto the green and leave a great birdie opportunity. Down two. Down two, four to play. Find the wrong side of these undulations, your ball will careen away from the green, leaving a very difficult up and down. I was thinking it had to be in the hole. I thought I saw So where does that there. leave us? I don't know. I thought I saw one skip on the top of that ridge. Oh, okay. Yeah, that could... But I don't know for sure. Yeah. You know, I didn't think I'd run out of balls today. Boy, did I. Come on, back. Good. There it is. Daddy. I wish that had happened on my first one. Um, you know, the other one's up there living with the snakes now, but... 
it out. That's incredible. It's good. It. It is fucking there. Don't you fucking dare. <laughs> four, three? Five, four. Five, four? You're good. Go in. Ah! are good. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Fuck. One up? Huh? One up. I'm making my way up the hill and <laughs> yeah. back to him. Yeah. The 16th hole is a 400 yard par 4 that plays directly into the prevailing wind. Although relatively flat, the strategy of this golf hole is quite brilliant. The left hand side fairway bunkers dominate the view from the tee and must be negotiated in order to set up the ideal line of play. Look at this fucking hole. This looks like it's 800 miles. Down one, three to go. Yep. We both stroke on 18. Well, did I top it? Ugh. That's the definition of four play golf right there. The most beautiful surroundings, the most beautiful setting. The sun is setting on fucking Tasmania, Barn Boogle and I top one off the fucking tee. Uh, God. Beauty? Yeah. Yeah, I think really good. Go win this fucking all, big man. <laughs> Come on now. Ooh. Yep. Big ball, Trent. Spanked it. Spanked Great one. Really good. Oh yeah, dang it, good ball. Hold on to here. This almost punch bowl-like green is nestled at the toe of a large dune and is protected by a deep bunker short left of the green. Yeah, we gotta be better. The 17th hole is 165 yard par 3, but don't let the scorecard fool you. This hole plays uphill and into the wind. Teeing off from low lying ground, the ball will be hit with severe winds once it gets above the dune system. The green, which sits atop the dunes, is protected very well by bunkering left, right, and short. Anything but a well struck shot could get you in serious trouble. Off the ridge. Oh, yes, I'm coming down. Holy fuck, man. Same spot. It'll be a yard apart. I have pictures on my phone that I look back at. Like, it looks like we were on the set of a movie. Like, like fucking Jumanji or something. Like, low fog, crazy mountains, the greenest green you've ever seen, and just ocean. That is fucking nature. <laughs> yeah, there's not supposed to be a golf course. Dude, that is Jurassic Park type nature. Frank, Whoa. you're good. Nice park. Take it. You just made one of those all day. <laughs> <laughs> nice pop. I always pop. Wow, that's slow. Jesus. All right, one down. 
The 18th hole is a beautiful 440 yard closing par 4. Playing along the coastline, this wide fairway is pinched in by native grass and bunkering on both sides. The final green sits beautifully as an extension of the sand ridge leading into it from the left. Balls played in from the left hand side will bounce down towards the center of the green and leaving a great scoring opportunity. Anything missing right or long is going to run down the slope and leave a really tough up and down. I was gonna. Let's go. It's right here. It's right for us. Yeah. It's right for us. That was a huge hole right there. Massive. What a people. This I remember very clearly, this whole thing. Oh! Jesus. Free fall, Frank. I nutted on it. Thank you, partner. Let's go. Let's go. Feel good. Hang on. Yeah. Good. All right, cool. I'm about to drop a fucking dart on this green. I think that's a golf ball. <laughs> Damn. That sucked. <laughs> I wanted it so bad. I did. I didn't get it. I didn't get it at all. 150 with the wind, right? My fourth shot. Okay. Oh, I see it. No way. It's in the snaky stuff. See it right there? That's a snake drop. Yep. Question is, where can I? Where do I snake drop it? Oh my God, is that hard? <laughs> <laughs> that is the worst outcome I've ever. So do it right here. You can place right there. You allow that? Yeah. All you right. can place right there. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. Uh, the snake drop. He's got to get it first. He might leave that ball. Uh, yeah, I do got to get it. <laughs> Fucking huge part of it. I got to get a longer iron. For you kids at home, it's, I mean, I can't believe he's not grabbing his long sub in the back. He should grab driver. <laughs> fall over. <laughs> Anything else is going to roll back into the bunker. There will be decided by the World Wide Web. We've been doing the snake drop all day long. That's perfectly fair. That's what he said. Place it right there, right? I think that's good. That's perfect. No! No, miss that bunker. Okay. 105. Yeah, 110, yeah. Oh, I chunked it. Yep. Oh, fuck you. Yeah, no good. No good at all. Get one close, make a putt. We're fucking doing this, man. Alright. Well now we're looking at double. First double of the day. Comes on 18 in front of the crowd too. Mark, you have to get close. Right, so do you. That's the goal. Can I stand in front of you? No. Oh my fuck. Oh. It's gonna work! Dude. Stop. Stop. Dude, we're in trouble here. That was a bad shot. That was butter knife. No! Go! Oh, you asshole. Dude, you have to get close. Wow, that could be great. Go in. And then after my tee shot, I felt good. And I was like, great. And then I think I actually hit a good wedge, but it was just short. Oh my God, it hit a pebble. Sit, sit a little bit, sit a little bit. Hit a fucking mushroom. <laughs> Go a little. Two putts from 25 feet from one. Oh my god. I got a putt for a four. No, mine four net three. No, mine three net two. Three net two. 
What are you on? Six, not four. We're not out of this yet. No. Nope. And Riggs has that for a five. Yep. Holy fuck, baby. Sure, large. Come on. Come on. This is classic. Oh, you have to do so little, and you do so Let's little. Do it. We're in a bad spot. No, we're not. Step off the ball. <laughs> no. No. You're right. Just there. What are you talking about? <laughs> we're, we're in a good spot. Good spot. Good spot. You just got to get what tight. Is he, uh, what is he at right now? Four, a three net two. Putt, no. Oh my God. Putting yeah. for four net three. Oh, my God. It's got to go. Oh, my God. That has to go. They're not in yet. No. So I have this for a five net four. What? He misses that. We're going to win this match. I will have that putt to win this match. Okay, so I still have one putt to win. Yep. I'm putting, for, I'm putting for five net four right now. Yes, knock it in. Oh, no. Let me just knock that in right now. <laughs> no, 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 mark it, mark it. Mark it? <laughs> yeah, mark it. Why? That's for a, that's for a six net five. five. Yeah, that's Which a big putt. Yeah. Trent's up first. You make seven. One of these. Yeah, there's seven five. Okay. How do we not make a four net three here? I was. 100 yards away, a top three ball. Let's go. Daddy! Oh! oh. oh. You oh. fucker! Oh. 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 That's very nice, Frank. Thank you. Alright, he's going to be sick. Yep. Yep. I don't think there's much, Frank. Oh. Left side. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! Whew. Deep breath, easy game. You in the cup. Frankie, you're good. It's good, Lord. I gotta regroup here. <laughs> How does that not go in? Wow, a lot of things have happened here. All, we have strokes on the 18th. We're and sitting in prime position. I'm 150 yards out. I'm right double. 10 yards out. Right double. Double. Oh. Boom! Boom! Come on! Daddy. Fuck yeah! Look, Look here! Oh, baby. Okay, that was Come a little on. Stevie Williams tiger handshake there. Fucking A. Yeah, it's just as much of a choke job as you can possibly have. We were sitting pretty. Two good drives right there, 110 yards out. What the fuck, man? That's a tough loss. I forgot how much we, like, botched that. How do we double there, man? Oh, how do we Winners. Double? Lurch is a bad putter. Lurch is a really bad putter. But when, when, that, when the big man gets the flat stick, he could be there for a while. <laughs> how did that just happen? Oh my god. <laughs> And he four jacked for a six net five. And I one putted for a five net five to have the hole and win the match one up. What an idiot he is. Last round of the trip, everything's tied up, boy. How do we make a 12? Oh, yeah. You couldn't draw it up any better. That's how you want it. Dude, 110 yards out. How do I not get the ball in the hole? I chunked. Fuck yeah, dude. Makes, oh, I'm so How about sorry. I'm going to drive, chunk, blade, miss putt. <laughs> Can't draw it up any better for the fans, for the uh, for the attendance numbers, for the for the ratings. We're all square going into the final round. We didn't really know what to expect again from the other course. Assumed it would be pretty similar and awesome. Um, you know, the Dunes course at Barnboogle for a title is everything that we wanted.